What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to this episode of BrickCast Desktop Builds as we are doing another installation of the BattleBots series. As you can see in the frame here, we have Ice Wave. That's the bot that I'm going to be showing you guys how to build today. Um, unfortunately, Ice Wave is not competing in Season 4 of BattleBots on ABC. Hopefully it does return again though, because it's one of my favorite bots, and honestly I just wanted to build it anyway. I wanted to take on the challenge of incorporating this weapon into the build and sort of scaling it with the colors and everything, and I think it turned out pretty good. And I'm excited to get into it and start building this, and I hope you are too. So let's take a look at the pieces you'll need to build Ice Wave. So as we get started on the base of Ice Wave, we're going to start out with one of these little flat rounded bottom underside base pieces. I take that right here and we're going to attach it to this 2x4 plate, just right there on the front like that. That will allow Ice Wave to slide because it does only have two wheels underneath it for the purpose of this Lego mock. So then we're going to go ahead and add this one by two, right on the back there. Keep those pieces together, they'll hold together better a little bit later. Then we're gonna add on one of these sort of side mount pieces, this two by one. This is gonna be used to add on the side plate armor. I'm gonna add that right on these two open studs here, and then do the same on the other side. What we should have should look like this, with two open studs down here and two right here with another layer of plates on top. Moving on, we're gonna add the wheels to Ice Wave, the axle and a couple of the side armor pieces, as well as a important piece to attach the top node of Ice Wave where that internal combustion engine is. So as we're real quick, just going to grab this axle piece right here. Now this is the old school axle piece, as you can see, um, it's got the square shape to it as opposed to the newer axles which all have this little extension here that makes it a little bit wider. So we want the skinny one for the purposes of this build. Going to take a couple of these tiny old wheels without the tires and attach those right on here. Attach one on the other side. Then this is going to go right on top of this rounded circular piece right here, so just click that on just like that. And then we have this sort of rolling base. It leans back a little bit to start, but once we put some more weight on the front of this creation, uh, that'll be offsetted. Now we're gonna take each of these tiles. These are gonna be the side armor pieces for Ice Wave, and they're also going to cover up the wheels. We're gonna attach the back of them right onto these two studs, and the same on the other side for an identical look, just like that. You have the base coming together, and now this is a really important part of the build. This is going to allow us to attach the weapon and the top part of Ice Wave simultaneously. You're gonna take this smooth tile, this rounded tile with a hole in the center, and one of these old rounded pieces with the pin, and you're just going to connect those together, and then that is gonna go right in the center here of Ice Wave. There we go. Now we have the base of our creation where the weapon is gonna be mounted. All right, we're gonna add on a little bit of detail elements to Ice Wave, and of course we're gonna need smooth pieces in order for the weapon to spin. So the perfect element to simulate that sort of silvery body that Ice Wave has is this great piece, as I can bring that up towards the camera for you. This thing is Perfect. I like it in silver. It really gets that sort of shiny look that Ice Wave's body has. And it's kind of see through, which is cool because it'll allow you to see the wheels underneath. So, first one of these we're going to take, we're going to put it right across this intersection right here, just like that. Do another one on the bottom side. And then on these open studs right out here, we're going to go ahead and add the other two so that they're slightly hanging over the wheel, covering the wheel, and also providing a smooth surface for the weapon to spin on. 
Now this piece, this pin, is really important for the weapon. It's going to allow it to actually function and spin around at high bot destroying speeds. And we're gonna go ahead and throw that right in this little pinhole right here. We also have the um, special attachment for it on the piece below. So just go ahead and poke that right in there. Now we have this sort of weird looking bot base with a pin sticking directly straight up. So that plow we just made is going to attach easily to the front of Ice Wave, actually right on top of there where we have those two exposed studs on the axle. I'm going to take that, stick it right on there so it is flush with the armor, a little bit of a gap, but not too much of a big deal as we can cover that up with this awesome two by four tile. Just press that right on there, make sure that this back part of the brick lines up with these two studs and that will cover up the front of Ice Wave. Now we have a perfectly little rolling base. As you can see, it's kind of balanced now. Before we mount our weapon, we're going to build Ice Wave's plow, which feeds robots into the weapon to be totally destroyed. And so that's gonna take quite a few of these one by one sloped pieces. First step is going to be take this dark blue ice wave colored four by one brick and we're going to attach all four of these guys onto it just like that so that we can place them in a down sloped position. Now we're going to attach this little mini piece that we've made onto this longer six by one plate right there just like that with one exposed stud on either side and if you can't guess already that's where the remaining slopes are going to go so you put them on there just make sure all your slopes are facing the ground so that we can replicate that plow shape and then this yellow piece right here is going to be our mechanism for attaching it to the rest of the body um, if you have a dark blue one of these or a gray one that could also work I was kind of going with yellow or with Ice Wave's yellow color scheme. And at one point I actually had this one by six piece in yellow, but I decided it looked better in blue. So again, if you want to build Ice Wave in yellow and black or red and blue, do what you want. It's time to build the weapon. And as you can see, there's a lot of parts here. Uh, previously with BattleBot weapons, I've kind of just gone for the single brick with a few Technic pins in it as the weapon blade but for this spinning weapon it's a little bit of a unique shape and i really wanted to capture the shape and color distribution with the black edges that are meant to blend into the floor and the bright orange blade and how it's sort of almost a little bit of an s shape with its sharp blades on the edges so we're going to build two mirrored sides to ice waves blade that will eventually mount onto the rest of our build now first off, we're going to go ahead and snag one of these, one by fours, in orange. And we're going to put two two by ones on either side, just like that. It doesn't really matter as long as they're on the same side. Now what matters as far as mirroring goes is this next part. We're going to take a two by one brick a plate and we're going to place one right there and we're going to make a stack with this smooth grate plate piece occupying the top portion of the little stack of black pieces and then in this underneath area we're going to nest another one of these to give it this sort of surrounding look of painted black area on the blade where we have parts nested right in here against these orange two by ones. Now for the other side, things are gonna be similar to start. We're gonna take our two orange tiles or uh, plates and we're gonna put them on there. Then we're gonna take one of these black two by ones and we're gonna put it here on the bottom and this time we're gonna make our stack with the other black two by one and it's going to extend out the opposite direction so we have the open end facing out to allow for this edge of the blade to be shown 
and then our smooth grate piece is going to occupy that top slot. So eventually our blade will sort of come together looking like this with the black colored outline and you can see the sort of S shape of the blade. Now we're going to attach the blade to its joint that will allow it to spin. That is just going to be this one by one brick with a pinhole inside it that's eventually going to go on that mounted pin that's sticking out of our bot currently. As you can see right there, it'll attach on that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set these sort of next to each other and we're going to make sure that we take our three by one tile. If you have one in orange, that would look much better. I did not in my collection. Also, if you have one of these in orange, that would look really nice as well. But it's all right to have them in gray because it's kind of covered by the top part anyway. We're going to go ahead and attach this right here, here, and here. So then our blade is looking like this. And then to keep it sturdy, we're just going to attach a one by three plate on the bottom. And ta-da, we now have a sturdy blade, which then is going to go on top of our robot. All right, now it's time to build Ice Wave's head, or in other words, the part where the internal combustion engine lies that operates its weapon. And we are going to start off with this piece right here. It's going to be this little two by one brick with a Technic pin inside. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take an inverted slope and a slope, and we're going to attach one on this end then we're gonna take this piece with a second stud on the side. We're going to attach right there up front, the other side, and make sort of a sandwich right there out of that to have this sort of arrow looking part. Then on the back, we're going to do a similar thing where we take another inverted slope, attach that right there. Then in between the inverted slope and the slope that we're about to add right now, we're going to add this piece, just a regular brick. If I don't drop it, we can put it on there and attach that right there to the inverted slope. And then the other slope is going to go on the other end to round that out. Then we're going to add this little one by one slope on the front to create a little more of a flush little angle right there that Ice Wave kind of has. We're going to take this one by one piece. It's gonna go right on this side. You make sure you have that stud facing up. That'll just fill in the headpiece a little bit more. And finally, my favorite little cartoonish addition to Ice Wave, this huge exhaust pipe. I know the exhaust pipe on Ice Wave isn't really this big, but this is kind of hammering home the fact that, yeah, internal combustion power. So that goes right there. And then it's just a matter of sandwiching every... So the three pieces of Ice Wave are going to go together probably pretty predictably at this point. You're just going to take the weapon where that center pinhole is, and you're going to slide that right on top of this pin that we have sticking out that will allow it to turn because it'll sort of spin really easily because this isn't a full um, Technic pin. It's one of the um, sort of plus shaped ones. And then we're going to take the top head of Ice Wave, make sure that this is aligned right so that it fits on with the little four attachment parts. Just pop that right on there, and there we have it. We have a rolling Ice Wave battle bot. So that's it. Now we've completed Ice Wave, and we can add it to our battle bots family. This robot is awesome. It's so destructive, and I really had a lot of fun trying to incorporate, you know, a weapon system in between two builds. I like how this mock came together as sort of a sandwich where you have the bottom base plate, the spinning weapon, and then the actual node on top where the um, internal combustion engine is held. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of how this one turned out. I hope you guys can enjoy it. Um, I really like the rolling mechanism um, with two wheels. If there's one thing I 
could have improved on this, I think it would have been just making it a little more stable as well as the color coordination on the head of Ice Wave. Um, I know that it's actually, if I could have inversed this with yellow on top, but I did not own one of these slanted pieces, uh, one of the small slopes in yellow. So if you're able to do that, then more power to you. You'll make a better Ice Wave than I did. Um, and uh, yeah, I kind of like, I think this is consistent with my style of battle bots in Lego, sort of accentuating the size of the weapon and the size of some other things just to bring together the spirit of the battle bot and what I think is most important in battle bots as a viewer, which is the weapon, um, whatever your opinion is, uh, that's why I like to accentuate it and I think it worked really well with this one. But um, this will be our last season three battle bot and we'll move on to the season four robots later. Hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button to help me grow this channel a little bit and bring these awesome BattleBots mocks to everybody else that's out there. Thanks for watching, guys.